Okay. All right. So this word is being spoken for each one. And I also speak this word for the United States of America. And if there is anyone or any place that you would like included in this spiritual mind treatment, just think of their name or that place now and know that this word is also for them. I recognize now the eternal now, which is present yesterday, today, and tomorrow. That eternal present, which is the cause and the creator of time. It is always itself, unchanging, perfect, whole, and complete. It absolutely, 100%, unconditionally loves itself and joyously creates this universe and everything in it in order to express its nature, its essential truth in an infinite variety of ways. And it does this by creating and every single one of this divine creator's creations are perfect at that moment are the highest expression of good in that time-space continuum and yet is also the foundation for greater good in the next moment. And so each one is this presence of love and joy and is clear about it and that this presence of love and joy is always harmoniously expressing itself as it unfolds in form from good to greater good, that unfoldment, the way that life creates according to the divine is without chaos, without confusion, and it creates with purpose, with knowing where it is going, with seeing what it intends to create and moving heaven and earth harmoniously, seeming, seamlessly, effortlessly, easily, from good to greater good, rearranging all of the particles in the universe to allow for the greater good to emerge. And this divine creator, this infinite presence is doing this always, continuously. It cannot stop creating. And so this movement of harmonious creating, moving into greater creation is omnipresent. It is continuous and there is no jerks or blockages to it. There is no resistance in the universe to it. And so any belief that anyone might have in fearing change, fearing the future, all belief in chaos and drama and uprising and riots and disharmony and disagreement and any personal unconscious or conscious resistance, rejection, or rebellion to the greater good is all by this word, erased, evaporated, and vanished, so that each one is experiencing the gentle, sweet, continuous activity of life, moving itself in creation to greater creation. And so this is the truth, and this is the activity now operating in each one's life. And so the truth is, each one is now and always the essence of life, which means the essence of all of the qualities of life, love, joy, harmony, peace, beauty, health, vitality, goodness, peace, all this is always present. And for each one in their experience, these qualities take a different form always. And so any fear of letting go of any particular form saying this is the best and nothing could be better than this particular form of good is revealed now as just not true. And each one is now able to peacefully with peace of mind and circumstance let go of the tremendous good that has been created, but which has been outgrown and to let it go harmoniously as one accepts 
the greater good, that good which is built upon the good that has gone before. And so the truth is, each one's personal experience is onward, upward, forward, knowing that he or she is all good and that this good that each one is has an infinite variety of ways that it may be expressed and that the good of each one is not affected by anyone else or what's going on in the world, that the good that each one is is the way it is because that's the truth of God, because God is all good. Each one is all good. And because God is only creating good and because God is ensuring that each one has 100% freedom of choice over what is created in their life, that divine is only interested in creating good for each one with the agreement and the choice and the acceptance by each one. And so each one is now accepting greater good, accepting the continuous changing circumstances that are occurring in their personal life, as well as in the world around them. And each one is able to see no matter what is showing up in the world or in their world right now, each one is able to look upon whatever it is with the clarity of knowing that this too is good, this too is God, this too is for me, and each one demands to receive the blessing in it. And so any belief that anything anyone else chooses or does can hurt or harm them is a lie right from the beginning. No one has that authority given by God. Each one has the full and complete authority of their own life and their own experience of it. And regardless of what the circumstances may be, each one is choosing to have created for them circumstances which are an outpicturing of a growing trust in the all good and a growing awareness and belief and conviction in the all good. And so each one knows peace. Yesterday, today, and forever, each one knows the peace that resides within and moves in that peace to experience this peace in a greater way than ever before. This is the truth. I am clear. Each one's healthy. Each one's joyous. Each one is clear. And each one is ready to co-create with the divine all good a really wonderful future. I am grateful this is so. I let it go to that all-powerful, all-knowing, omnipresent law. It is done, and so it is. Amen.